Hi guys, this is an alternative implementation of a suggestion from Andy. Still using the same chassis and wheels, but this time I'm using a rat trap to pull the weight forwards. The weight hits the back of the car and the idea is the momentum pushes the car forwards. But I'll tell you, it doesn't work. I'll just get something to hit the rat trap with so I don't catch my fingers. So the length of the string is just right so the weight hits the back of the car. And as you can see, Nothing happens. It doesn't move. I did wonder if it was the weight dragging on the floor to begin with. So I've got a little car here. So we'll rest it on there, so that will reduce the friction. Still nothing. I suppose I could try and shorten it a bit so that it hits the back of the car before it's fully um, expended its energy. Nope, we're still not moving forwards, are we? I think if you do the maths, this is what should happen. Nothing. Because with your equal and opposite reactions, they should balance each other out. Thus the rat trap is trying to pull the weight forwards, at the same time, the car should be trying to go backwards. So they should be cancelling each other out. And that appears to be what's happening here. I was quite surprised that the rubber band one worked, but I think there was a, a difference in the way that was operating. I'm going to make one little change to this just to demonstrate that it does work as a rat trap car. I'm going to attach the string to the back axle so we can just drive it forwards as an ordinary rat trap. But I'll have to change that axle because that's a bit thin and I think this string would probably break it. Thicker back axle to take the power of the rat trap. But other than that, it's all the same. I've put a little spike through the axle so I've got something to hook the string onto. I'll grab the camera so we can actually watch it go. Okay. So wheel spin. This is a strip cut from a rubber glove. I've used it before, you can see it's got wear marks around the middle of it. We'll try it with just one wheel. We 
ready. Well, that worked. People always want to know how far it will go. Well, I can only run it in my kitchen and conservatory. We don't have a convenient sports hall or gym or what you want to call it to play in. So we'll just see if we can get eight meters out of it. Yeah, that did that quite easily, didn't it? Apart from swerving a bit to the left and hitting things. So in answer to the question that I'm bound to be asked, this one does at least eight meters. It just depends how far it will freewheel afterwards, doesn't it?